Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and you join me once again here in Computer Tycoon. Now you may remember at the end of the last episode we were left on a serious cliffhanger. Or, may, well, maybe not. Maybe I'm exaggerating slightly. But it was an exciting moment in the development of computer technology. We had discovered something or other. Shall I go into my research list down here? My list of notices tells me what I did. We researched the black and white LCD display. And that meant we could now create portable computing devices. Yes, we can. And... That's what I did. While you were away, I snuck into the office under the cloak of darkness and created all the various hardware components that I need to build a portable PC. As you remember, this, this is a slightly tedious bit of processing you have to go through. Um, certainly when you create go into a new generation of computing, you've got, you've got to create all the various bits and pieces that you need specifically for that type of computer. Um, like uh, we've now got motherboards which will actually apparently work in all types of devices the home computers the personal computers and the portables now I, I don't know if I'm cheating a little bit here but I discovered a little bit of um, yeah an interesting featurette if you will of doing it the way I usually do now if we just look at the power, no it was storage, I keep thinking it was power supply but it wasn't, it's the storage. So if I bring up my personal computer ones as well. So as, as you may have seen me do before, what I typically do is I come here and say I go into my latest model for the previous generation of computing. So this is my last and best of the PC, personal computer uh, storage options the five and a quarter inch bay the heat sink hard disk drive scuzzy small fans it had everything going for it um and it was really really good so what i would typically do is i'd come here i say copy that i would add that to the portable devices and just jigger about a bit and just make it as best i could what i noticed was that if i just did that I could keep the five and a quarter inch bay because that apparently is not something you have in portable devices. So if I click on that to say take it out and let's see if there's a better option for the portables, it disappears entirely and there's no replacement for it. And <laughs> so what the, the point of I make I'm I'm trying to achieve here is that by cheating ever so slightly by creating my portable storage unit as a five and a quarter inch disc bay meant that I actually had larger capacity than I should have. If I didn't include the five and a quarter inch bay, I would have a maximum capacity of 200K. But because I've got the five and a quarter, I can take that up a bit more. It gives me a slight edge on the competition. And that's no bad thing because I am, technolo technologically speaking, a little bit behind the, uh, the guys in blue, yeah, the guys who own most of the world, have the, mar the lion's share of the market. Afari Solutions. So here you see, yep, yeah, their storage solution, 170k, pitiful. Their performance, yeah, very, very average. Unfortunately, their, is that quality? That is quality, is, um, yeah, is one step up because they've got a whole lot more uh, technology that I have. They've got ball bearings, water cooling. Yeah, I'm still, <laughs> I'm still miffed at the water cooling. Um, so they've got all those extra bonuses for quality, which give them quality uh, benefits. Um, but they're also noisier than mine. In fact, in most of their other components, because they put water cooling and fans on, theirs are a lot noisier than mine. Um, but they they tend to uh, exceed in terms of other uh, attributes as well. So, yeah, I've created my portable. Uh, in fact, as the message here said, it is polished. So if we look at uh, the prototype and the on the market and my personal computers, not all of them. Uh, no, <laughs> these little boxes are my clunky, very sloppy mouse control. So here is my portable device, PH port number one. 
a nice sort of um, yeah light brown beigey sort of color quite quite easy on the eye so here it is it's got all the accessories including a trackball I'm not sure you saw me research that but I did um, it's got all the memory it's got my storage with the extra 100k yeah don't tell anybody it's our little secret um, so this is it it's just been polished it's got some really nice um, figures here for the, for the feature set pricing though is an interesting thing on these if we take everything else out just look at portables include a file I don't think bigs no bigs haven't got to portables yet they're still in the PC land of PCs I mean look at that price ten and a half grand for, for a laptop which is outrageous um, and they're not offering much of a discount I mean when you consider the average budget for each of these um, wealth back of the for each of these wealth bands get my teeth in get get to uh, get myself so I can speak words as if they were actually words yeah so I mean their prices are extortionate the only one <laughs> is the rich that's interesting actually now, ah, now there's an interesting strategy isn't it they've really discounted the rich price so it's below the average budget but all the other folks Oh, interesting strategy. They're pricing it well above what these folk can afford, typically afford. Uh, you see, even above the filthy rich budget. Interesting strategy. Um, they've sold quite a few, but let's see how I can do. I am uh, 7,000. Does that work? If I put my pricing on here. Yes, I did. I put my pricing on here before you joined me. Uh, so, yeah, I'm trying to keep it sort of close-ish to what these people will pay. Um, but I was just kind of struck. I didn't actually look at the pricing strategy of uh, for Fari before. Uh, I just looked at their top-line price, as it were. So, I'll see if I can sell any more in these countries. Because I am, apart from the rich, um, cheaper than, uh, than a Fari. Okay, so... Let's market this baby. Let's get the game rolling. Whoop, yep, I'm I'm gonna run out of stock soon. Right, let's pause that. Let's get all my factories turning out product. Uh, I had brought them down a bit. Because as you know, we've gone to level five factories, the highest band in most countries. In an attempt to meet demand. Oh, okay, we no, okay, that's fine. Yeah, we're just selling a bit more than we... We're making a bit more than we can sell. That's okay. You have researched a new technology. Cool, we'll keep it like that for a moment. Uh, the other thing I have been doing uh, is I've been moving into... Which is what I want to sort of look at in this episode. Oh, look at this going a lot greener now, isn't it? 34.5% of the market. <laughs> Sorry, stop distracting yourself. We're not going to Brazil. We're going to my home base of the Bahamas. Let's have a look there. Okay, um, I've started building marketing buildings. It's a part of the game which a lot of players weren't entirely happy with um, and it's difficult to quite understand how it works or what the actual impact is on your sales. Uh, and in fact, this is one of the areas that the developer has told us he has changed dramatically for the next update. So it's going to be a lot, uh, lot more understandable and a more, lot more intuitive and will be more effective. You'll be able to sort of direct it more and you'll be able to take more. What, what, what's going on here? Why are these buildings building? I'm not building anything. No. Well, this is, this is fascinating. I have... <laughs> Oh this, is, oh, this is parking. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, they're not actually part of what I built. They're, they're just autonomously built. The AI is doing that. Okay. So I've built level one marketing here. Let's upgrade that now to level two. Let's get the game running again. So it can do that. And we'll see what we can do with marketing. Um, and explore that option in the game. 35 over 35 and a half percent of the marketplace that is excellent and i'm making 31 million dollars a day i mean this is lovely <laughs> your building upgrade has completed uh okay so that's marketing let's upgrade it once again I, I i've got so much money now i just need to have ways of spending it 
Right, so what does marketing do? Marketing, marketing allows you to um, advertise particular aspects of your computers in particular markets, in particular countries. Um, and it then boosts, has a potential sales impact of so many percent. So if it says here, your, in your selected country, your computers will be seen better in the selected you preference. You have researched a new technology. Okay, let me just stop the game there for a second because it's going to get start getting carried away. Uh, in the selected preference, the features, performance, whatever, as you can see, by the given percent. So um, if my computer's performance is 100, ah, okay, so it, it's not the marketing, it's not the sales. It's the impression of the quality of your machine that's improved. Aha, right, got it. So if you're sort of a bit behind in terms of performance and so on in a particular country, then you can use this to boost the impression of your machines to get that little bit of an edge over the competition. Um, and this percentage here increases, I believe, uh, as you have more countries with higher level uh, marketing buildings. Uh, the level one is billboard, level two is video games. So you can tie your the promotion of your products to particular games if they meet certain requirements. So uh, let's have a look at this. So what we've got here, required perform memory performance is 65.31. Do any of my computers match that? Uh, so let's uh, go uh, on these. We'll take Afari out of the equation. So performance. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I look at that. Yeah, I'm I'm well, well in in there. Yep, I, I don't have an issue with the performance there, so that should be fine. Uh, oh, I've lost the marketing screen now. Uh, let's go back there. Uh, or a display feature of twenty three point seven nine. Display, which is which one's display? Is that none of these? Oh no, you have to go into the computer. It's oh, you silly man. Right, the memory is before oh no i don't ah 9.98 no that's not going to work display uh is that what was that it was after uh press the right button man display feature okay is 23.79 uh, okay, that I'm not sure if that meets because my the display doesn't. Uh, it does have a feature. That's it. For I don't meet any of those criteria, do I? Uh, that that that's not. Mm, I'm not. Ooh, oh yes, I'm just muttering to myself now, aren't I? No, I'm not. Mm, I don't meet any of those. Oh, that's that's a shame. So I can't use Dungeon Mustard to promote my my lovely new computers. I wonder what happens if I do, though. You must have at least one computer on the market with a specified hardware element by waiting for release. So that's going to be released uh, in some month's time. Uh, so I've got to have a machine which meets that display feature requirement. I wonder what happens if I don't. OK, let's, uh, let's keep the game running. We'll upgrade to marketing level three. Your building upgrade has completed. Okay, and that gives me the option for newspaper. Right, uh, so the newspaper's name. I don't think this makes any odds, does it? Okay, uh, so ooh, Ajax News, we'll call it. It's going to be feature preference, make people more interested. Okay, in uh, which countries do we have at the moment? Let's zoom out of the map a bit. Can I, oh, I can't move you. Russia. Let's 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 say you Russia. You have researched a new technology. Excellent. Thank you. Oh, where's Russia? There you are. 0.5 percent mm, okay you see it's, it's different it's slightly difficult to, to understand so if I, if I sat here and, and gave it some thought I could probably make sense of it but uh, straight off the bat it's not 
necessarily so intuitive. Okay, I'm overproducing again. And look at my profit has gone down to 22%. That's not good. Uh, okay, I'm losing out to the competition again. But I'm making money, so I'm not too concerned. Um, where's, where's, where's my second country? Where was the second country I went to? Was it Ghana? Possibly. Uh, oh, you were average, weren't you? So, Bahamas, Ghana, Lithuania. Let's go to Lithuania. Let's create some marketing departments here as well. Okay, and actually, let's make you a level five office as well. Just to give me more discount on all my buildings. You have researched a new technology. Your research queue is empty. Right, okay, so let's pause it here. What have we researched? We have researched, I uh, don't go there. If I stay here, it's easier to see. So looking at our little box down here, we have researched the gamepad, the auto sensing adapter, which is a power supply thing apparently, and the LS Inv, which is a video technology. Oh, we've got so much research done here. Okay, right, so we have auto sensing which is very Your advanced upgrade has completed I'll pause you there thank you which is a very advanced power management thing here and that gives me look at that two and a half thousand quality points I'm gonna like that so that's for power supply and we have the elf im I did find this where did I find it <laughs> Ooh, doo -doo. Uh, it's up here where have I uh, yeah, I could do with a search on this screen or something, perhaps, which might help. Ah, got it. There it is. LSI NV. It's a low cost video graphics solution. All right, under computer. Oh, okay. Again, if I was more familiar with hardware components, I might have been able to find that easier. <laughs> okay, so let me just make a note of that. We have also researched the SIM right there. I know where they are, they're at the top there. That's motherboards and memory. Uh, finally, re we researched the one micron manufacturing, which affects quite a lot of things. CPU, motherboards, memory, and video. Right, so let's have a look then at creating our new components. So we'll take all those off, and we're looking for CPU. Let's get these in date order, so I always get the late, I don't want Afari on there. Okay, so let's copy this and add some new technology into it. All right, so the micron is going down to one micron. I think that's the only change we have to make here on the CPU. Okay. Well, I'm using this designation 3C to uh, to indicate the fact that it's all for three all three generations of computers from home PC to portable. Well, I had to do something, didn't I? So we'll call this dash one because it's another one of them, the one micron. It sort of makes sense. Uh, oh, we can multiply this. Uh, we can't have any cash though still. Well, actually, DRAM, no, that's, yeah, we haven't got any more different types of CPU circuitry. We can multiply that. Oh, we can. Oh, yes. It does increase the price quite a lot, but then we've we've saved a fair bit by going one micron. Okay, so let's see how that stacks up. We're not going to put a small fan on it. No, we, we don't need that. It just makes everything noisier. And our pricing, uh, it's going to cost us 104. Oh, people will pay up. Let, let's make this 250, shall we? Yeah, everyone will, they don't have a problem with that. So if we just discount it a bit more, for the average, for all the poorer folks, 35. And 55, let's make that 40, shall we? Yeah, that's, that looks reasonable, I think, doesn't it? Oh, and look at this, I'm top in all these characteristics, apart from the quality. And the performance. Well, that's okay. I'm quite happy with that, I think. And we will create that one. 
Splendid. Uh, yeah, you can see here as well how many of these you sold separately. So this is each market, as we saw before, will buy individual components once you're into the PC generation. So that's the CPU done. Uh, we want the motherboards next. We've got lots of things to do for the motherboards. Uh, so it's going to be... Why have I got it in the wrong order? Well, that's interesting. Did I, did I have it in the wrong order on the previous one? Let me... No, no, I was okay with that. I must be okay with that. So 3C, we will copy you. And what have we got to add to the motherboard? Let me just check my notes. This, that's the trouble with doing so much research all in one go, which means you don't have to come here too often. Uh, but it does mean you've got lots of things you might need to fit into your computers. So on the motherboard, we've got the one micron. Okay, uh, BIOS with jumpers, that's still the same thing. Uh, we have got EEPROM, that's still the same thing. DIN connectors, that's actually if I take that out. Oh, hang on, we've got serial ports and SIM. Uh, yeah, I think that's it for the motherboard. A DIN connector. Yep, that will do. Uh, I think that's it, isn't it? If we got we got MIDI on there. That is excellent. Right. So, how much should we charge for this? 120. Or oh, again, they're willing to pay a lot more than that. So let's make that say 200. I, I'm I'm just um, scalping my customers here, aren't I? Basically, that will give them a five percent discount. 15. Oh, and 30. 35. I'm giving it away. Excellent. Uh, no, you're going to be called Dash One. Because I'm getting running, running, running short of creative names. Uh, the power supply. I think we have something we can do here. Uh, Yep, that's you. So we'll copy you. Oh, can I put you into PCs as well? Hmm, interesting. Why didn't I do that before? Okay. Uh, so, what have we got here for the power supply? Oh, the auto sensing thing. Where does that come in? Heat reduction. Uh, Okay. Um, right. Uh, I thought auto sensing was to do with. Let's come out of here. Let me just check that again. Where's the auto sensing? No, that was down. Oh, it, ah, it only applies to portables. I can't use it in my older computer. Yeah, as it says here, just portables and tablets. Ah. Right, okay, so we're going to have to make this one specific then to the portables. Right. We'll call, actually, we'll call you Seven, shall we? <laughs> They're just random names, honestly, it's just ridiculous. Uh, show the. No, we won't do that. Uh, heat reduction. Where's the. Auto sensing adapter. Right, we've got you. Okay, we'll take. Oh, a new. Look at that new picture. Uh, the heat. We don't need a fan no, because our quality is high enough already. Because of that, that is excellent. It's going to cost us. Oh, oh, interesting. Yeah, yes. You can't sell individual components if they're just for the portables. Uh, that only applies to PCs. Well, you see, you live and learn, right? Uh, so we will create you. And what else have we got? We've got memory.
Right, so I think that's all we needed to change there. So I say, it's easy to get lost on here. So what can we research next? Uh, let's open the queue. What's cheap? CGA! Ah, oh, that's lovely. Yeah, we'll add CGA. Uh, mouse support? Yeah, why not? Uh, water cooling. <laughs> uh, am, I, am I going to actually do water cooling at this point? No, I don't think I need it yet. I don't think I need it yet. Uh, stereo audio. Yeah, let's do that. And a modular power supply. Well, let's do those three things. That, that will do for now, I think. Okay, so let's build ourselves a new computer. Right, so let's build a... Should we build a new PC? What's our latest PC? That's you. Right, so let's copy you. Uh, we'll call you. What year are we in now? Oh, we're still in, the, we're still in 1988. It's been a good year for us, this. Um, we'll call it FDD because, yeah, because. Uh, oh, we've got game pads and trackballs. We'll just bung everything on there, to be honest. Memory. Uh, uh, which is the latest? That's that one. Okay, the CPU. We'll use the latest there. Actually, yeah, I didn't upgrade my PCs when I did the when I went to the portables, so they're. Uh, is it, why is this different? Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, I had some issues when I was doing the store, the input device. We'll leave that as is because that looks like the better one, actually, doesn't it? It's got better feature set. Everything else is the same. So, yeah, we'll leave that as is. The, yeah, the graphics card. You're a nice improvement. So, yeah, definitely you. The power supply. Um, can I put this on a PC? No, thank you. It tells me I can't. Thank you very much. That one. No, nor that one. <laughs> that one, though. Okay. Storage device. Uh, which one of these uh, will go with you? Excellent. And the motherboard. Well, you're looking good. Display. I could put the, the else. Can I put that on there? I can. Well, that's cool. And you're the late. Did I do? Did I save that? I must have done. I must have done. Okay. Yep. That's fine. Uh, so we've got that. We've. That's fine. That's good. So we'll save that. We'll create the prototype. Your new computer model went into the testing phase. And I'll also. Your building upgrade has completed. Do a copy of the portable. Let's create a new one of these. Okay, we'll just add everything to it. The memory. I don't want the archived. I just want the portable stuff. So that's you. The CPU, the latest one of those, removable media. We haven't changed that. The fabulous new graphics card. Power supply. Oh, this is this is good. That'll boost it. The storage. Yeah, we'll use that one. <laughs> Slightly cheaty one. There you go. Display. That's not changed, but the operating system has. Excellent. Uh, and this is our second portable of 1988. So we'll leave you there. We'll save you and create you. Your new computer model went into the testing phase. That's excellent. And uh, what did we just finish building? Oh, the office. That's Lithuania. Right. So. Uh, where is Lithuania? It's up here somewhere, isn't it? Uh, there you go. Let's go here. And I want to increase the marketing there. We'll upgrade you. That's cool. What sort of marketing options do we have? Video game. Well, that's not going to be out for, for a little while yet. That's okay. 36.5% of the global market. There's still some places I'm not winning in. 
The trouble is these, these factories now produce so much, a few percentage point change in their capacity or their output makes a huge difference to these numbers we see at the top here. So they go up very quickly or down very quickly. It just gets... Oh my goodness, what's happened here? What has happened here? Has someone released a new computer? Afari, is it you? Oh, I, I think... Uh, no, that's the same old. Maybe they've been, have they been changing their prices? I don't know what they've been doing. That's This is interesting. Very interesting. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take my old PC out of the equation. Okay. Your new computer model is polished. I am still making loads of money, so I'm not too concerned. Right, so how's that doing then? So I'll take you off there. So are you ready? Oh, you are ready. Oh, I don't remember, don't remember getting a message about you. Hmm. Right, so, the pricing for this one. Uh, they've got a maximum of four grand to spend. How does this compare to my other machines? Uh, was I selling a PC at seven grand? That doesn't look right. What's happened to these? These prices don't look right at all. Have I messed this up somehow? Oh, this does look very strange. Is this some sort of issue? It is 7,000 there. What is going on here? No wonder I've not been selling so many. Right. Uh, okay, so we need to take you down two actually if we take our oldest machine down yeah we'll take you down to two five nine nine uh, we'll change you to sixty percent uh, yeah those numbers look okay that's good that is curious. I don't, don't know why I'm there. To that's that's very strange. And you, we will make. If uh, I stay here, actually, uh, three two nine nine. We'll use the old price for that. Uh, and that's still pretty much within everyone's budget. That's excellent. Okay, uh, this one. The portable. Now that was seven grand. That was fine. Actually, let's reduce the price on that one to six five. Does that mean I'm losing in the? Oh no, no. That's okay. I think fine. So our new PC. We'll price that at three four nine nine. Yeah, we're, it'll do, it'll do. Okay, and uh, market you. And our new portable. We can... Actually, let's make it 6599. That's okay, I think. And market you. Get the game rolling. And there's enormous demand. <laughs> 139 million production units of demand. Right, let's get all these factories pumping stuff out. I'm going to be out of stock. I am out of stock already. Unreal. You have researched a new technology. Uh, even Ghana? Gosh. I, 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 <laughs> these, these numbers are unreal. Uh, okay, so we've got a level four factory in Latvia, which is poor, so we could upgrade you. 
Oh, it does upgrade. That's fine. That'll give us a level 5 factory there. That's good. Nearly 37%. Oh, that's looking a lot greener. That's look. I'm happier with that now. That's good. Right, so marketing options. What's we going on? We don't have enough manufacturing capacity. Oh, I know. But the demand's coming down now, so that's fine. Uh, the billboard. Uh, we'll call our billboard Fred. Uh, we're going to product quality. And I mean, what you're supposed to do, I, I guess, here is go into a market where you're not winning and work out quite what those people want, which would give you the edge over the competition. So in Mongolia, they are looking for prestige and features. So if I go to, oh sorry, if I take my marketing here uh, to product features to Mongolia, that will add 4% to my product feature. Oh, wait, oh, there's Mongolia. Okay, there you go. That's started. Uh, our newspaper. That's started. That might have helped. I don't know. Oh, look at that. Your building upgrade <laughs> has completed. A beautifully green colour. And I've now got enough production capacity. Good. 37% of the global market. We're doing rather well here. Now, has that game come out yet? Waiting. Oh, it's coming out at the end of the month. We've got a few more days to go. That's okay. Let's speed up a little bit, shall we? See how we're doing. You have researched Perhaps. a new technology. Oh, uh, okay. We'll do it with... <laughs> Failure. No. So what does that mean? I, I don't know what that means. Does that mean people now not buy my computers? I... Mm, a loser guy's guide to the galaxy. Ooh, I wonder what that's referring to. Again, display features. I don't have anything that comes close to those. Okay, right. Let's go back to the Bahamas. Where's the Bahamas? Are you right at the top here? You are indeed. Let's increase marketing. So what's next in the marketing upgrade path? We shall see. Uh, I'm overproducing slightly again. So let's uh, reduce uh, our factory output somewhat. Okay, there we go. That's better. So that will that will eat into my stockpile, which is fine. So that should mean I'm even more profitable. Oh, that's a big building. <laughs> Size isn't everything, you know. But there we go. So what will this give us? Your building upgrade has completed. Thank you. So marketing here. Radio. Oh, I like radio. Advertise my... Well, let's have a look at the stats. We're coming to the end of this year. So my sales. Well, personals have really taken... Well, I'm not doing much in home computers these days. I've not upgraded those recently. Um, but I think... I think my profit margin is in portables. So, yeah, let's market portables, I think, on the radio. Um, Ajax cast. Yeah. Now, if I build another level four marketing building, then that, I think, will increase. So let's start that. So that was in Lithuania, wasn't it? So if we increase this again... I just need to get the game running to do that. Probably won't, probably won't be ready in time for the end of the year. And we'll do our general roundup of our stats so far and see what we've achieved. Oh, we've lost Russia again. Oh, well, it was fun while it lasted. 39% of the global Your sales. Your research queue is empty. Yes, I know. I'm going to deal with that later. Don't worry. Don't worry. 
Uh, what are we waiting for? Oh, the turn of the year. There we are. We're in 1989. So let's wrap up this episode with a look at our stats. Last year, oh, it was a bit of a poor year, really. Uh, just over two and a half billion in profit compared to the six billion the year before. <laughs> but our bank balance is getting bigger and bigger and more unmanageable. So that's fine. Our sales. That's really good. Should I look at home computers? Should I start? Should I upgrade those to sell some more? I don't know. But we are selling so many personal and portable computers now, which I think is where the uh, the profit margin is. Our customers, the US of A, France, Russia, that's all good. Uh, Canada, New Zealand. Yeah, I'm selling into all the top markets. So I'm doing really well there. The economy level of my buyers, um, poor and average. That's pretty much the global split as well. And the rich, the filthy rich. Oh, I'm hardly selling any to the filthy rich. But then again, yeah, they're not being sold much anyway. Market share. Oh my goodness, I've just noticed the just noticed the percentage at the top. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's a much much more re reassuring graph. 46.71% of all computer sales at this moment, at this particular date. That That's a good percentage. Look at that. Oh, poor old Afari. They've really tailed off. That's so sad. Bigs are really just struggling. I haven't attacked them this year. In fact, I've not bought any new territories in this operation, in this episode, have I, sir? That is really good. Preferences, I don't care anymore because people are just buying my stuff. So, yeah, I'm going to leave you with this graph here and say thank you so much for joining me today. Hope you've enjoyed this episode of Computer Tycoon. If you have, it'd be wonderful to hear from you. Just drop a like, click on the old thumbs up button. You know how that works. Even better, though, if you've got any thoughts, hints, tips, suggestions, recommendations, or even criticisms of what I'm doing in the game today, please do just drop a note into the comments box below. It'd be awesome to hear from you. And of course, if you've not already subscribed to the channel, you could do that now. And that way you'll know when I upload another one of these, or indeed any of my other Let's Play series. But from me, Ajax Post, here in Computer Tycoon. Until the next time, bye bye for now.